What is up guys this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi K20 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest Evolution X ROM and this as you can see is the 26th December 2020 build and of course the latest one as of right now so as you can see these are the change logs you can read it out of course from here and there are not much changes but yes the ROM definitely feels a lot more smoother and yes I updated from the previous build and let me actually talk about flashing this ROM. Well, you definitely need the latest 12.0.4 vendor. That is the Rafael in, in global vendor. If your device, of course, is uh, Indian Redmi K20 Pro, you will need that firmware. Or otherwise, if your device is from other regions, you can flash the like regional based firmware, the latest one as of right now. And if you do not know how to flash this ROM or if you want to update this ROM from previous builds, I would say watch those videos from the card right there and specifically that update video is really important because that is how you will know that how to flash if you were on the previous build so without losing any of your data from the previous build you can flash this build with the firmware the latest firmware and you will still be decrypted so that is a really important video in my opinion if you have not watched that do watch that manually flashing guide or manually updating guide video now let me go into the settings and go into the about section here from the android version as you can see we have the android 11 version of course here as you can see and the device of course shows as redmi k20 pro or rafael and evolution x version is 5.2 emerald official build security patch is latest of december 5th 2020 and the stock kernel is still perf g kernel maintainer is of course joe huab and the build date again is the 26th December 2020 build. Now, the changes are again really minor, but here the Google Camera Go has been removed, which was there earlier in the previous builds. But right now, you only get this ANX camera. And of course, the ANX camera does work fine, except for portrait mode, of course, because the ANX camera has not been built for Android 11 yet. This is still the Android 10's ANX camera. That is why except portrait mode and the 48 megapixel mode, everything else should be working fine like the videos and stuff will be working fine. Then switching lenses is totally fine with the wide angle and telephoto lens both and even the front camera is working super fine as you can see. So no issues with that, everything else should be working totally fine with the stock or ANX camera. And here I have also installed the latest version of Yonix's Google camera. You can follow that video from the card right there if you do not have this Yonix version of the Google camera with which you can take also the wide angle telephoto lens kind of photo and then you can actually switch to night sight and as you can see you can take night sight photos with all the lenses so that is great and i would say this unix versions google camera is still working fine no issues with that and you can follow those settings from the video from the card right there now let me talk about some more things the rom definitely feels again really really smooth as you can see the stock launcher again is the pixel launcher and to the left we get the google's discover page so i ping down gets you to the notification panel usual stuff and from this quick settings panel you can add multiple toggles let me show you actually these are the toggles that you will find over here and plethora of quick toggles are there that you can add these are the app kind of toggles i have added a couple of them let me show you this screen recorder is still there with which you can still record the device audio and the microphone audio both at the same time we also have this heads up disabling option and the oxygen OS kind of screen recorder is also there so if i go into the settings as you can see we have all these settings so you can go into the settings and tweak it around if you want to like use this oxygen OS kind of screen recorder both are there the android 11 kind of screen recorder and the oxygen OS kind of screen recorder and here we also have this fps counter so if you enable it as you can see on the left corner it still shows the fps right there so yeah that is cool let me actually show you on this launcher the widgets and stuff are totally working fine no issues swiping up gets you to the app drawer and yeah all the things are working fine as usual this is how the stock in call ui looks like we have the wi-fi calling or like view wi-fi and of course vaulty 2 is working fine but in the stock dialer still there is no call recording option in the customization section there is not much changes let me go into the status bar here the only change that i can see is this vo wi-fi icon as you can see right now it says display vo wi-fi and hide the faulty icon so yeah this option is there so right now it is selected and as you can see it is only showing the vo wi-fi icon up there no vaulty icon so that is how it is and you can also like select this display view wi-fi icon too 
but I'm not really sure if both of the Volti or Vio Wi-Fi icons will appear and there is also this Volti icon enabling option 4G instead of LTE all these things which was there already and in the lock screen again you will find all these kind of things like the fingerprint icon these are the icons which are present for the fingerprint and here let me show you we still have this cyberpunk 2077 animation and also all these like meet and ultra k30 pro and the supernova and stuff all these animations for the fingerprint scanner is still there only thing which i see is kind of new in the misc settings that is this radio info yes it was there from like two or three builds earlier but i did not show that so this is how it looks like right now now inside gaming mode in the changelog there was some mention that some things has been fixed so if you are someone who games a lot maybe it will be helpful for you so gaming mode has been improved a little bit i guess and then we have all these things like the launch music app on headset connect and the charging animation and stuff and this usb configuration stuff is really really helpful for me at least let me go back that's all for the customizations i would say and everything else is still present like let me actually show you the double tap to sleep on the status bar still works fine let me unlock from the always on display and as you can see the fingerprint scanner is very fast let me show you one more time from the always on display with my left hand thumb right now i'll do from the lock screen as you can see this animation still looks really cool from the lock screen let me show you one more time as you can see it, it's unlocking like really really fast from the lock screen too so no issues with that let me try with the night light turned on and here from the always on display unlocks now let me try again from the always on display left hand thumb still unlocks right now from the like lock screen with night light turned on still unlocks and again night light turned on from the lock screen left hand thumb as you can see still unlocks very very fast and reliable fingerprint scanner no issues i have had with the fingerprint scanner here and by the way here the brightness control gesture by just sliding a finger on the status bar as you can see is working fine yes it is not as fast as android 10 but i would say it is working fine so i should not complain about it and some people are talking about like some force closes or something on this rom i have never faced any kind of force closes or stutters in this particular build and i would say that like if you are someone who uses this rom for a long time yes earlier there was some force closes with the youtube app and stuff well you do that like double tap to skip 10 seconds kind of thing but right now that too has been fixed i do not see any kind of freezes the youtube app used to freeze but right now that is not happening at all in the battery settings this looks really really cool in my opinion let me show you here we have all these things like the battery temperature charging cycle current battery capacity design battery capacity and the last full charge screen usage and stuff then smart charging is of course there then adaptive battery battery saver thermal profiles everything else is there you can see the full battery usage from here i would say the battery life is really really good and it can definitely give you about eight plus hours of screen on time right now as you can see it's almost like one hours and 40 minutes of screen on time so every 10 percent it gives you like about one hour of screen on time pretty much so eight plus hours of screen on time for sure you'll get with moderate usage and of course fast charging works flawlessly here no issues 18 not fast charging actually works fine let me go into the display settings here is how it looks like we have the night light live display etc in the live display we still have this rgb control of the screen then the picture adjustments are there too let me go back we have this reading mode and stuff then we have the styles and wallpapers of course and here let me actually show you we have all these themes and inside wallpapers if you go here you will find a lot of live wallpapers too so this is how it looks like as you can see there is this like google art stuff looks really cool these wallpapers i would say and here we have this living universe too from where you can download any live wallpaper if you want to inside lock screen we have this always show time and info that is the always on display and yes without always on display also there is an option for the screen of fingerprint scanner that works for fine too you just have to reboot once and here we have always on when charging and stuff if you have always on display disabled you can have this option turned on so whenever you are charging you will see the always on display these kind of things normal things double tap to wake is there pocket detection is there let me actually show you from the always on display again if i cover this top area as you can see the pocket detection has been working totally fine and if you touch the display right now there is nothing it won't like wake the display but if i remove this from here as you can see right now if i double tap it will wake the display there is the anti flicker or dc dimming mode you can turn it on if you need then we have the dark theme and stuff still and you can customize the dark theme too and inside clock style we have all these lock screen clocks as you are noticing 
let me go back we have the accent colors and plethora of accent colors are still there as you can see evolution x red blue etc options and the apple colors are there too then we have this ubuntu option inferno red show me pixel blue etc options are there now inside the headline and body fonts as you can see plethora of options again there source sense pro google sense everything else is there if you are someone who is used to google sense you can definitely apply this google sense front from here let me choose the device default one and then we have all these like sam victor everything else let me go back we have the icon shapes so these are the icon shapes that you get over here in the display settings let me go back in the sound settings we still have this like me audio direct and it has been working totally fine the sound quality is still amazing with like headphone or bluetooth here and hi-fi audio is still there then we have the screenshot sound touch sound touch vibration etc disabling option also there is this pulse equalizer so this is like when you are playing songs you can have this lock screen pulse so it will show some pulses in the lock screen some kind of graphic over here i would say let me go back we have the live caption mode do not disturb everything else and the ringtone vibration pattern you can change it from here of course when the volume steps are there and then we have the show volume panel on the left side so this is how the volume panel looks like it expands just like this and of course you can have it on the left side just like me or you can turn it off and have it on the right side then we have the media call etc volume options let me scroll down we have the security option and here we still do not have any app lock or face unlock as of right now on this rom but yes they might be added in the future updates but as of right now you only get the fingerprint option and if you want to use any app lock you can download them from play store i would say just go with the norton app lock or something that is really good now in the system updates we have this system updater well i would say you can use this updater app if your device is not like decrypted or if your device is encrypted you can use this updater app too but I would suggest following that manually updating video and you can update if, even if your storage is decrypted and I update that way I think that is safer in the gesture settings we have this swipe to take screenshot so as you can see this stuff still works and you can delete them edit them or share them from here and we have this power menu option and you can also hide the power menu and stuff from on the lock screen if you want that from the lock screen customization settings I mean from the customization power menu settings gesture navigation is there and in the gesture navigation settings we actually find a lot of customization this like amount of screen height that will be used as you can see like this much area from here from the middle to bottom right now this blue stuff that you are seeing that's where the back gesture will work so yeah you can customize it like full then this kind of quarter then like almost like more than half and as you can see on the bottom so yeah these are really cool and we also have some dead zone customization and in the advanced gestures we have this extended swipe action so this will like actually if you hold like this if you set an action from here it will work for that like you can take a screenshot like that show power menu and stuff let me actually choose this one and we have this extended swipe so i'll just as you can see right now if i extend the swipe it shows me the power menu and here let me show you if i do this as you can see it goes back but again if i extend this swipe it shows me the power menu because i selected it from the right side kind of swipe so these are pretty cool features in my opinion and you can use it if you want to and in the power menu by the way if you go to advanced we still have the advanced reboot option of course so that you can directly reboot to recovery or fast boot or you can just reboot the system let me go back from here we have the haptic feedback too so with this if you enable this of course whenever you are going back or something it will give you the haptic feedback and here we also have this gesture bar length so if you increase it right now as you can see i have increased it this is how long this bar or the pill bar is so yeah this looks cool and you can also hide the back gesture navigation if you want to i mean the animation you can hide that but it will still go back and here we have the two button and three button navigations too if you need that and we also have this quickly open camera so with that if i double press the power button as you can see right now it automatically opens the anx camera because i set it to as the default camera in the front camera sound kind of settings as you can see there are plethora of sounds like the star wars sounds which sounds really really cool and you can set these kind of stuff but i usually put it to disabled and here we have the camera led customization like you can turn it off if you don't want that talking about the drm info the security level is l1 so that means you can stream netflix or amazon prime videos in 1080p and again as you can see it passes the safety net test right out of the box so you do not need magisk 
to actually use banking apps over here you can use banking apps like google pay right out of the box here and also in the recent panel as you can see this is how it looks like you can clear all the apps from the left side then we have the screenshot taking option or you can select a particular text from here as you can see there is also this select option and you can like hold it right here like on the recent panel in a particular app you can just hold and select particular texts from right here as you are noticing also there is this google's recorder app by default and with which you can like live transcript any audio whatever i'm saying it, it's being transcripted in real time right here so this is a really cool and like really useful app for some i would say now another thing about the google assistant here is that you can swipe up from these corners as you can see it will like bring the google assistant in your screen or you can swipe from the left corner too to bring google assistant again but here let me actually tell you that the google now or the ok google voice detection is not actually working so still that is a bug i guess but for me at least it is not working but you can always swipe from the corners and get the google assistant on your screen from even any particular app just like this also there is this papers app present by default and with which you can actually use these wallpapers as you can see these are all like the evolution x kind of wallpapers and as you can see they look really beautiful and simple i would say these are like too much of stuff but yes you can use it too if you want that and i have been using this particular wallpaper looks really cool to my eyes now talking about ram management let me open one by one these apps let's open this file explorer facebook twitter play store youtube right now let's open instagram google home and let's open did i open youtube yes and let's open flipkart now the drm info app safe in a test right now let's open okay so i opened flipkart already let's open this new home app and the telegram app too so right now let me open all these apps from memory okay so the files has been closed facebook is in memory Twitter closed, Play Store is still in memory, YouTube still in memory, Instagram is in memory, Google Home is still in memory, and inside Me Home, as you can see, it is still in memory. Flipkart is in memory, so the memory management is mostly good enough. The safety net has been closed, DRM info has been closed too. So the memory management may not be that great, but yes, mostly it keeps like most apps in memory that you need. As you can see, Facebook is in memory. Twitter is been closing. Play Store again is in memory, as you can see. YouTube is in memory too. So yeah, the memory management has kind of a mixed kind of, I would say experience here, but the performance is not bad at all while you are actually using or actually daily driving with this rom i should say because you just like do not open 20 apps from memory every day if you are that one maybe you will have a little bit worse experience here but other than that here are the android and geekbench scores of this rom and again the performance is smooth it has a lot of customization and like the normal stuff like body calling and stuff everything else is working super fine no issues the fingerprint scanner is fast and snappy and reliable everything else is working super fine so the latest evolution x is one of the best rom of like end of 2020 if you are flashing an android 11 rom on your redmi k20 pro i would still say so thank you so much for watching this video guys give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet this is tito from kdn tech signing off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye, -bye now